Plaintiff Michaela Ramsey rented an apartment with the defendant. And she claims the defendant made it a hostile environment. Michaela claims the defendant often made fun of her for being biracial. And she has video of the defendant threatening her life. She's suing for rent and damages. Defendant Aurelia Parks insists she respected Michaela and never said a racist thing to her. Aurelia claims Michaela started the problems by pouring out her drinks and throwing out her food. And she's countersuing for emotional distress. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. Well, first, I met Aurelia through a mutual friend at TSU. I thought it would be a good idea to live together. TSU as in the university? Yes. Tennessee and State? Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, I was wrong. It turned out to be a total disaster. She made it a hostile living situation from the beginning. How so? Um, she would do stuff like she would talk about me. She would bring her friends over, and they would call me cracker. They would call me white girl because I am biracial. Um, I even have a video that I would like to show you. And in the video, she says that she will beat me up, and she called me a cracker. She also said that I would be in the hospital dead. Why do you think all this came She's from? She's lying. Just jealousy, you're saying? Or because yeah, she was, you're she biracial? Was very, yes, she was very jealous. You didn't tell them that the laws stated in some states that one drop of blood and you're black? You ain't tell her I'm black. I got one <laughs> drop. That's all you need. And you're biracial. Well, she knows I'm black. She's met my mom. most of us are biracial because mm -hmm. most of us got one drop of black blood, white or black folks. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see. I got two <laughs> drops. And you go ahead and start looking around. I'm looking around. That's right. That's right. An uh, Irishman. <laughs> and he might be on to something because the <laughs> Irish were indentured servants, which is one step away from slavery, yeah. uh, were indentured servants and somewhat oppressed during the same time that black folks were enslaved. And so some say that they were intermingling mm -hmm. as well, the indentured servants and the slaves. And so you may have some black blood in you. But that's one of the histories we share with the Irish, and that is a history <laughs> of oppression. And one of the things that the Irish did, they became powerful and overcame a lot of their oppression through electoral politics. Uh, they were smart enough to begin to work to empower themselves politically so that they can change policies and laws that are against the Irish and help move the Irish forward. So you have Irish mayors of major cities because they found that as a route. Then black folks tried to follow up, or we have followed up, when became also politically empowered. So we got so much in common. Yeah. So yeah. much in common. So tell them that. Say we got more in common than we do different. Mm -hmm. But tell me, where is that from, though? You all never fell out otherwise? Well, she knows uh, from previous conversations I've had with her, she knows that calling me a cracker and acknowledging the fact that I'm white and not acknowledging the fact that I'm black, too, bothers me. Because when I have gotten to arguments with previous friends, she sees that they call me white or they call me a cracker, and it makes me mad. So she was just trying to get under my skin by saying that. All right, and whoever they are, they got a lot of nerve. They facing just as much discrimination. Mm -hmm. um, and ma'am, yep. you tell me what happened with this and how it all started, if what she says is true. All right, so me and Michaela, we were really good friends in the beginning. Like she said, we met through a mutual friend. Um, she asked me to be her roommate. Um, I thought it would be a great idea, but she made the living condition like completely hostile. Oh, what did she do? All right, so me and Michaela, we had gotten into an argument around February. How long? You all moved in together in August yes. or September? In August. I moved in in August. She moved in in May. Okay. And what happened in February? So February, we were talking about getting another apartment. Um, it went wrong when I requested to have the second biggest room because she had the master at the time. She got mad, started throwing away my food, pouring out my drinks, came back in my room, was going crazy on me. I was on the phone with a friend, uh, so she was, you know, listening to it. Uh, you know, after that, it kind of went downhill. Uh, what was happening really... between August and February? You all were fine? Yeah. I mean, we weren't on bad terms, but, like, 
you know, sometimes we wouldn't talk. Sometimes we would be t cool and talk. Sometimes How about the racial hostility she said was being directed her way? Oh, that wasn't there. That wasn't there. Never? No, I wasn't there. I, I it wasn't there. I really respected her as a person, you know? I don't care what kind of color you got, you know? I, res I respect you as a person, and I show her that. All right, ma'am. Well, tell me uh, what occurred with the rent and the property damage. Okay, so with the rent, she stopped paying rent after we got into the argument she talked about uh, in February. She stopped paying, she didn't pay rent for March, April, or May. And she, I'm guessing she thinks that she doesn't have to pay it since we both agreed to move out. But there was on the lease that says we had to still pay it until May. So, and with the door, she, she moved out right after we had gotten to the argument I mentioned where she called me a cracker. And um, when I came back, all of her stuff was gone and her bed, her TV, everything was gone. So I presumed that she left, like she said. And after that, a week later, she had broke down the door. She came back and she broke down the door. She had given you her key? Or? No, she did, she did have a key, but I had put a safety stick on the door because okay. I was there by myself and I was scared because name, she threatened to kill me. I didn't threaten so, to kill her. I did didn't you call the kill. police? Yes, I have a police report. Let's see that. And oh then my. we're going to watch the video. <laughs> no, nah, I got to go, That's man. what I always ask. If someone believes hey. there's a legitimate threat, then that's what they do. She threatened and me, too. And let's see, uh, <laughs> will you give me your police report if she threatened you? Let's see the video. Why'd you say you never made a racial comment, ma'am? Oh, that, man. that was a very clear act of perjury, and that's why that. I'm gonna have to dismiss your claim and grant hers. That was a clear act of perjury. First thing I hear out your mouth is cracker. Have a good day. <laughs> Judge me for the claim. Your claim is me. Well, I want I would like to say I did walk away untouched and I did get my money. Like she said, she wasn't gonna pay me. Actually, I really didn't have anything, any any bad, you know, remarks about her, but uh, she know that she's wrong. I know I call her a cracker, but she charged me with screwdrivers. She, she took things Lies. from me. She did a lot Lies. of things to me.